everyone. Uh, welcome back to our Getting Started series with PDQ Connect. I think we're all the way up to episode 14 now. This time we're talking about stage deployments in our new bandwidth setting. You know, a lot of people, they're always saying, you know, what about the children? Think about the children. I say, think about the bandwidth. I mean, you might have like a remote site somewhere that is running off some like DSL connection and you're just hammering that thing with deployments all the time, bringing the network down. It's not good for anyone. So let's see what we can do about that. So diving in here to PDQ Connect, uh, we're gonna go down here to our settings page. You access that by this little gear icon here. So we'll go there and we'll, you'll see that we have this bandwidth setting right here. We'll click on that. And this is where we will enable this setting at. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is enable stage deployments. And you can go ahead and read through this information here. Basically what it's telling you is that when you limit your deployments, when you're setting that bandwidth cap, what you're doing is saying, hey, I only want you to be able to deploy to so many devices at any given time. So if I uh, set off a deployment for 10 devices and I set this limit at five, you're gonna, you're gonna deploy to those five uh, devices and then the other five are just gonna sit there in a staged queue. Now you can set that active download limit right here and you can set it anywhere between one to 10 active downloads at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to two. And then this is where you're gonna put your IP address. Um, I've gone ahead and already copied one from my devices that I will put there. Let's make sure that there's not a space at the front. Uh, but this is where you'll put your IP addresses. Now, this, something to know about the IP addresses is it uses CIDR notation. Uh, what I recommend doing is if you are not necessarily a network guy, uh, is get your IP address range that you want to use, and then go to Google, look up a CIDR notation calculator, put in your information there, and it will return back the information you need to put in to this IP address field in CIDR notation. So we're going to go ahead and we've got all of our settings set. It's really simple. We've enabled it. We've set our download limit to two and we've got our IP address in there. So I'm gonna save those changes. Now I'm actually gonna go through and actually kick off a deployment so we can kind of see this in action. So back at our main page here, I'm going to go to packages and let's, do, let's go ahead and send out uh, FileZilla. Haven't sent that out in a while. Okay, so we'll select our package here. Now we're gonna hit deploy, verify that our package is indeed there. Now I'm gonna deploy this to my Avatar The Last Airbender group, and I know that this has four devices. So remember, I set that limit to two. So when I kick this off, it's gonna to wanna to send it to all four devices, but because I set that bandwidth setting, it should just deploy to two devices and stage the other two. Okay, so we'll hit deploy here, and we're gonna run over here to our deployment screen to watch it all unfold. So you can say it's already going in progress, and then we have our two stage devices right here. So as soon as these finish, which they just did, our next two are online, they're going through the process. So you can see how that works. So if you do have that like offsite location that is like really limited, you don't wanna just pound it with tons of uh, active deployments, you can set that bandwidth limit and you're good to go. All right, I think that's gonna wrap this one up. If you wanna catch more PDQ content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you got any questions for us, hit us up in the comments or come hang out with us over on our Discord server. Again, thank you for watching guys for PDQ, I'm Brock.